Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Flashback Friday. This week out, we're going to be playing Decap Attack, starring Chuck D. Head. Um, this, this game is freaking weird, but um, I will say that uh, this is a really good action platform that I did not <laughs> expect it. Josie loves it. I did not expect this game to be as good as it is. So, on the surface, it's just like a wacky looking platformer, but it's actually a lot of fun to play. There's a good sense of speed. Um, yeah, Josie Rock. Yep. You gotta love, like, the monster aspect of it. I love that you can hit projectiles. It's got a little bit, I wouldn't say it's completely open world, but it does give you the sense of that there's other stuff going on. And you've got to be super careful. I, again, like I said, I love the jump in this game. I didn't really get a chance to experience this game until, uh, there we go. Much later in the, uh, <laughs> Like I said, I didn't get a chance to experience this game until much later in the Genesis life cycle. Basically, because of a handheld, uh, a handheld mobile device that uh, had this on there. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Ah, oh, crap! Five Nights at Freddy's. These guys look like they're from. But uh, like I said, this is a really nifty platformer. You can jump on guys to weaken them like I just did here. I love like the stomach coming out and stuff. There you go. So that's the first level. Jumping around, you collecting stuff. Pretty straight ahead. It's got a good score too, as you guys can hear. This, uh, this attack doesn't, uh, he's got some skill. This attack does not run, uh, does not get old. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys, like, um, we'll check this out too. <laughs> so, you can jump on guys, you can punch them, you can do a whole bunch of things. Hitting projectiles is awesome. Jumping on them like that is awesome. There's just like a lot of, um... There's a lot of gratification to be had in terms of like the maneuvering of your character. Control-wise, it's pretty tight. I'm playing on an emulator, so, uh... It controls a little bit better on the original graphics, I will say that. But overall, man, if you're looking for a platformer that didn't get a ton of love when it was originally released, I mean, this is kind of like a perfect choice. Okay. So I see how I just had the guy's head? Now I got a head. <laughs> I could play this, like, all freaking day. There go. Alright, but anyway, I'm going to stop now. And, uh, just let you know that this is definitely something that you should flash back to. Great score. Fun gameplay. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, I'm going to actually continue to play the game until I get past this one part right here. There we go. Alright. I will say that, like, certain things, like right here, this platform, if you're not looking really close, then, uh... 
then you might miss it, you know? But anyway, play it, have fun. <laughs> 